Welcome to the Iranier station. So this is this station talks about spiders. So first of all, one thing most people don't realize is that there are a lot more types of arachnids than just spiders. So all of the other stations, I don't know if you've been to any others. Have you been to some others yet? Not no. Yet. Okay. Well, you started at a great, excellent. You started at a great place. Um, so this station is all spiders. We actually have a couple live animals here that we ask you not to touch, but you can look at. Um, there are, this is a tarantula. No, this is a huntsman spider and it is right over here. Do you see the striped legs? Yeah, yeah. And then in here is a tarantula up on the side there. And there's some information about them on the little cards. Um, over here, we have two of our um, more venomous spiders in Nebraska. So we have black widows. This is actually not the species that's found in Nebraska. But in case you've ever wondered what a black widow looks like, you could see the little hourglass on the abdomen. Yeah. They're gorgeous, black, glossy spiders. And then this is a brown recluse, which we actually do also have, not commonly, but they are in Nebraska. So if you've ever wanted to see what a brown recluse looks like. But the activity at this station, did you guys grab your um, Path of Predators booklet? Yes. Um, OK, excellent. <laughs> um, so at this station, we're talking about um, the senses that spiders use. What senses do you think spiders use to capture prey? Eyes. Eyes. OK. Wavelengths. So maybe like through a substrate or something yeah. like that, through the ground or something. So it actually, you know, eyes. Let's take a look at this black widow. Eyes? Do you see? No, no. Do you see eyes? No, I can't. Yeah. No. In most spiders, you actually can't see their eyes very well, except for jumping spiders. And that's because their vision is actually not very good. And they do use vibrations mostly to catch prey. There are even these spiders. These are called trapdoor spiders. So these are um, relatives of tarantulas. And they build these burrows in the ground. And then they have these silk strands that they put outside of their burrow. Sometimes they even have a door that can close and open. So these are not web building spiders, right? They don't build a big aerial web that flying insects will come into. But they still use vibrations. And what they do is they sit inside this tunnel. And they have their legs on the edge. And those silk strands come down into the tunnel. And if a cricket or a cockroach is walking along outside and they trip on one of those strands, that spider can feel it inside. And it'll jump out and grab oh, the prey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the game here is how good would you guys be? So imagine you're in a tunnel and the prey could be on any side of you, right? You get one chance. You're going to jump, jump out in a particular direction. So you need to be able to tell where that vibration is coming from. So as we said, most spiders do not have good eyes. So you can either put on the spider goggles that will uh, basically are blindfolds, or you could just close your eyes if that's more comfortable for you. I want to put on the eyes. All right. <laughs> I think I want to close my eyes. OK, perfect. Yeah, glasses, glasses. It's, yeah. is harder. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide your hands. And you're going to put them in these little slots here. And these are your fingers are basically on. We'll do both hands. Your fingers are basically on those silk strands. Okay. And then I have an electric toothbrush for each of you. And I am going to vibrate one of the strands. And I want you to lift the finger that you think the prey is hitting. Okay. Ready? This is the toothbrushes. OK. Oh, all three of your fingers lifted, though. <laughs> yes, up, there you go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's do one more for both of you. Yes, you guys both did it. Awesome. Yay. Well done. <laughs> Um, 
Excellent job. So you would have successfully eaten. Congratulations. <laughs> and then if you guys want, you can take a trading card. And then this is something you can do at home. Um, it has some myths and facts about spiders. You could do it here, too. There's instructions on how you cut it up. And um, it's one of those games that you can open and close and learn some myths and facts about spiders. Do you guys have any questions? No. Oh, I think I'm good. All right. Yeah. Great. <laughs>